I mean, it's actually at 21 years old, that's the best time to be looking for high value men. But, you know, go ahead. Do you want him to come in, John? Go no, what, who's the guy that made you, made you like this? <laughs> Who? Wait, did you no just do the who hurt you? Like this. Is this the who Why hurt do you? you think a man has made me like this? Dude, who this do you think? Somebody which, definitely hurt you. No guy has really hurt me. So you're just born with all this angst and hatred Carson, in your heart. You close the, uh, <laughs> Why? Because door. I have value, uh, like no, values no, uh, that aren't traditional. I didn't say anything. Listen, it just because like I'm wearing, it, listen, just because I'm wearing push, a suit doesn't mean that. just relax, that. relax, relax, relax. Okay, just because I'm wearing a suit doesn't mean I'm traditional. It means I'm professional. Okay. So, okay. all I'm trying to say is, he asked you like a very simple question, but you came back with like a fiery, emotionally charged answer that was kind of like a little bit anti-male. And so, I'm kind of I'm trying to figure out like, yeah, like what happened? Nothing happened. I've only really ever been in one really serious relationship, and I was the one who ended it because I thought that it would be more fun to be single and I've had a really great time being single and I honestly yeah, try to encourage so happy I <laughs> am happy I'm not looking for a relationship yeah I've been on like dating sites but if you look at the people that I match with or the people that I like my messages there really isn't none because I haven't found that high value male that I want to marry or pursue or even sleep with i high don't... value men nine times out of ten they're not on dating apps that is correct just like high value women nine times out of ten are not on dating apps what makes a high value woman oh god what's that can uh, you... concepts foreign to you, you concepts foreign to you modesty <laughs> modesty being demure modesty what does mo modesty yeah modesty in character modesty in appearance modesty in her demeanor you just don't like it when a woman is outspoken. You're intimidated by that. You just met me like oh. 10 minutes well, ago. Okay, and let's, you're already guys, starting guys, guys, to guys, guys. say, you just called me a bitch. You insulted hold on, hold on, me. Hold on. I have not insulted you. you. I said that you are intimidated. It wait, seems wait, 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 to wait, me listen. that you are intimidated. Nobody's intimidated by you, first of all. I don't. I'm not, <laughs> Second of all. Yeah, no, it even, seems like you're intimidated by you, somebody that, like, that speaks the truth that Modesty, that is, okay. okay, that is your concern, modesty. No. So, yeah, you just said that, a high-value woman, the first thing that came out of your mouth was modesty. That is at the top of your list. There were multiple things that came out is of Is that mouth. at the top of the list, modesty? No. Then why did you name it can we first? Can we just lower the temperature a little bit? Just, <laughs> she okay. is triggered as fuck. <laughs> I, I would say, John, but just maybe refrain from... Admiral right, man. but, but. At, the, at the same time, you don't know me, so don't, you've, you've talked to me for like a few minutes, and you swear to God, you have like my entire ideology summed up. Okay, then I'll let you talk. Okay. I can talk, too. I'll talk. <laughs> I can talk. Okay, so... I'm good. <laughs> I didn't lose Michael. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so you were talking about how... And it's, if you want to do the hot girl summer, winter, whatever... Thing. I've been doing that. Yeah, so like you're saying, hey, if you're just going to go to the clubs. I then, don't go to the clubs. The, well, I just, just said I well, don't party. I'll you, go and drink with my friends, but I'm not going out in big groups. No, but you just said that you just turned 21 and I'd like to keep it as an option, but I haven't gone yet. Uh, wait, so I'm not really sure what we're arguing about, but so your main thing is that you would not tolerate a guy saying, hey, here's yeah. my... I personally, I don't really, maybe in the future, I'll go to bars with my friends once they're all 21. But if a man is putting those restrictions on me, saying, hey, you can't go party, you can't do this, you can't do that. No, he's already trying to limit you. He's already trying to restrict you. Because are you also telling him that, hey, maybe, yeah, there's like those basic things like don't text other girls, you're not texting other guys, those basic unspoken things that you already are supposed to do in a relationship okay but if a man is telling you hey don't go party with your friends what is the reason is it because he's scared that you're gonna go hook up with another guy maybe and that's his issue let me ask would you let's say your boyfriend was going to the strip club two times a week would you have an issue with that 
Yeah, because that I feel like that's already an unspoken rule in a relationship. You don't oh. go into the strip club. Well, you shouldn't go to bars and clubs when you're in a relationship. Is that an unspoken rule? I mean, you, yeah, it is. It, it, is. it kind it's of like is. Common, kind like, of common sense. You shouldn't really be like partying with your single female friends or single friends for that matter if you're in a relationship. What is the positive ROI? Well, you guys ROI are older. On, well, Maybe listen. that's what you think in your own dating life, but we're young. That's not how it works for She's us. She's 20 and she agrees with us. She's okay. younger than you. Okay. So that your entire argument just went down the trash. If if you don't want to be in a relationship and you just want to party, that's that's fine for you if that's your choice that you want to make. That's I don't do that though. I just don't want to be in a relationship that's restricting me. I don't want to party. I don't party. <laughs> I don't do that. I just told you guys I don't but do the, that. But in relationships, you make compromises. There are trade-offs that you make. You adjust your behavior. Some guy's going to be compromising when he dates you for sure. But what are you going to compromise for him? Nothing. Yeah, obviously I'll compromise but not stuff. going out if a man okay if I want to go have fun with my girls I'm going to go have fun with my girls I I'm think not going to go stay at home at 21 just because a man told me to why would I do that I'm 21 do I listen to my own dad and mom you not really should. not you really should. so why am I going to go listen to another man just because I like him right now. Why? What? Just I'm curious. not going to be with him forever. I'm not going to marry him. So why am I going to make these restrictions for him? Just curious. Just him. Why do you frame it as I'm not going to listen to a man versus just I'm not going to listen to my boyfriend? There just I don't know. There seems to be a slight animosity there with the towards the, men. the man part. But yeah. But um. So you would have an issue with your boyfriend going to the strip club. Yeah, because even though, that's a strip club. Even though, well, I would argue that the chance of your boyfriend being able to sleep with one of the strippers is far lower than your chance to sleep with a guy when you've gotten intoxicated at a bar, club, or party. Who do you think I am? I'm you not think saying I'm just going to get drunk and sleep with whoever? Do people make better decisions when they're drunk or worse decisions? Well, like, there was a study no, you, where this one you, person. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Let's like, see you answer the question. Who do you think I am? Do answer the question. I, do you think I not like? Oh, so you're impervious to judgment decisions that are that are caused I by believe, alcohol. I believe people make some bad decisions while they're drunk, but don't get to that level. If you're going out to have fun, then you're not going out to like. Maybe yeah, if you want to black out, go black out. But if you want to go and just have fun and drink casually with your friends, that's okay. You're not, yeah, if you're going to go, you're going to, if you're really going to go drink and cheat and use, oh, I was, no, but, alcohol okay. is not an excuse for cheating. Goes both ways, men and women. Sure. But okay. Would you're, if you're going to cheat at the bar, I'm sorry. If you're going to cheat at the bar, that is your own decision. That is not alcohol telling you. That okay. is because you want to cheat. Question for you. In the history of all infidelities that have happened all throughout history, do you think anyone has ever mistakenly cheated? Like, or they regret having cheated? Um, I, Perhaps when they I, were intoxicated? I don't know. I oh don't know. God. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for one, one time that somebody regrets it. But okay, I want to give everyone... I'm sure maybe somebody has regretted it and they lost that person and they were like, okay, like, I guess. Sure. I'm sure somebody has regretted it. Natasha, well, you want to regret come it because they got caught, you know? Well, some, I mean, like even that. if they don't get caught, sometimes you make, you cheat and you're like, I f***ed up and yeah, but. But cheating is a conscious decision. Drinking and going out and seeking a guy to sleep with, that's a conscious decision. Sure. I don't think that any amount of alcohol, I've been, you know, like I've been intoxicated well past my capacity to do that and I could still make conscious decisions, you know? So I was even thinking in the, those instances, I was like, oh, wow, people really use that excuse of being drunk um, as a way to like kind of justify them sleeping with other people when that's not, it's just a conscious decision that you make. Alcohol doesn't really affect that in my opinion. Okay. I want to give everyone an opportunity to answer the original question. Why don't you go ahead? Um, I actually kind of agree with what she was saying to some extent. And now I'm in a relationship. I don't, I wouldn't be okay with a guy putting restrictions on me. Um, how, long I think have it, you, how long have you been dating your current partner? Um, it's about like two months. Two months. Okay. Yeah. And you guys are exclusive and monogamous? Yes. Okay. 
And if he, listen, and my personal take is if it's every once in a while, whatever. But if it's like, you know, there's a birthday party. Me, per, I know some guys are like, not at all. But me personally, if it's like a one-time thing, but otherwise she doesn't party or go to clubs, whatever. But if it's like she wants to party every weekend, that's a major issue. That's yeah. a major issue. I so, don't party every weekend, but if I wanted to, I would. And I'm not going to let whoever I'm dating dictate that because it mostly just roots from insecurity. Is Why it, are it, you insecure that I'm going out is to it, party? Is, is it insecurity or is it just having a boundary? It's, what, like it's boundary. insecurity. What, what because you call their, boundary coming Because their from. idea of partying, they're connecting that with hooking up. And you can have fun at a party without hooking up. What, what I you, go out to a party and I have been out go, like partying just with friends having okay. fun. What you call insecurity, I call having a boundary. Go ahead, Natasha. Well, I was going to say that boundary also comes from wanting respect. So you going out and not partying and drinking and getting drunk and having all these men be attracted to you and like coming up to you and stuff, that is him. It's just a respect thing, you know? Like, have you ever experienced that? I've gone out to party. I've never once disrespected what I am in. And I, I go out, sometimes I go to clubs and I go with him too. And if I were to tell him, I just feel like going out with my girlfriends, he would be okay with it. And if he were to tell me, I would just want to go with my guy friends. I would be okay with it because we both trust each other. And if you don't trust each other, then what are you in a relationship? 